Hello, Cyprian again from FU for All. Uh, very glad you're still watching those videos, so thank you so much. Uh, and I hope it was useful, everything I showed to you up to now. Uh, in the last video, we were looking at uh, how to apply filters to process the results. And now I'll show you something which is really, really, really useful. It's how do you extract value at a node? And potentially, how do you extract that in a file, for example? Or how do you look at those data? And I can tell you that if you don't know how to do that in Paraview, you may spend hours to try to, to find out where this option is, because it's so an intuitive that uh, I still remember when I started to, to learn Paraview uh, a few years ago, I, I looked for this feature for, for days and no one was able to tell me how to do this. So now I'm telling you, I'm showing you, so watch, watch how to do that. Uh, and once you know how to do this, this will sound uh, obvious. So I hope you learn a lot from this. So, um, the first thing you need to understand is that uh, you have some view which is important called the uh, the data inspectors or statistic inspector. Is it this one? Let me check. No, not this one. It's um, it's um, up. Uh, Oh, it's already inside actually. It's a selection display inspector. So have a look at this. And uh, by default, you don't see anything here. So it's it's pretty weird. You can activate stuff like that and uh, maybe wondering, oh, where should I click? Um, because there is nothing to click and I don't see the data. Well, actually what you have to do is to activate these very small buttons which are on the top here on this window. If you look at what the, the help text tells you, this is interactive select cells on, interactive select point on. So let's, let's select a point first, for example. So now, now that I selected that and I chose in the point to see a displacement X, when I'm moving this, I'm able to see the displacement. Uh, why is it zero? It's a zero because basically the results I'm looking at are very, very small. Uh, so you, you can see the legend, it's 3.3 uh, power minus seven. So it looks like zero, actually it's not. Um, to convince you of that, let's look at uh, something else. So now I'm looking at the nodal result, and it's still zero because this is not nodal. So let's look at this, for example. And now I'm looking at the stress result at, uh, at the nodes. So if I want to look at elements, I have to activate elements visualization like that. And if you click on the model, the, the value will stay and um, you'll be able to change this. So now I'm looking at uh, material ID, Oh, I was looking at the ID of the result, actually. Result, this is displacement. Okay, uh, the value of the stress is that one, is the one on, in the... Yeah, I should... Yeah, that's it. So, uh, now, okay, that's, that's good to see that on the screen. It's uh, slightly difficult to read. I agree with you. Uh, so, how do I... I can see that in a table, stuff like that. So to see that in a table, just split your view like this and you, you see you have a lot of views and you have one very useful view called the spreadsheet view. So if you active the, activate this magically in here, you'll start to see um, the elements of your model. So all the elements are included in this view and you have some options to display only the elements selected, for example. So very useful. At the top, a small button, show only selected elements. So if you click here, only the selected element will show. So I can, I can prove it to you. If I, um, let's say, I clean the selection, clear the selection, nothing is shown. And now I select again, uh, I don't know, this. And now you see that I selected one element. One element has four. Uh, four points, four nodes. 
So now I'm looking at the coriant and the different kind of results at each of those nodes at this unique element. And the good stuff about this is that this is a spreadsheet. So I'm able to, um, I'm able to export that spreadsheet into various kind of format like CSV, for example. So if I wanted to, to import that in CSV, well, I just enter name, uh, my data, very original and no. Okay, and I have my data in CSV. So that's one of the way to, to visualize and to get the, those data. So pretty useful to know how to do this um, into Paraview. Though there are more advanced parameters that you can have a look. Uh, you can select a certain number of cells like that. So if I want to select a group of cells using this selection, uh, I'm able to look at those results that I can export and you know post-process uh, separately. So I could export the value of all those nodes and do any kind of uh, post-processing. And, uh, and that's all for this video. So in the next video, I'll show you, uh, I don't know yet, We'll see. I'll try to continue to make videos and to add them to this uh, series. So to make sure that uh, all the, the good and important features of Paraview are covered. So if you like this series of video, uh, please like and uh, subscribe to my channel. That will motivate me a lot to continue to make videos, uh, which will go deeper and deeper into uh, the tools of Paraview. Thank you again for watching and uh, see you next.